What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighbor, Slip Gator here, hanging out tonight, doing stuff with things, playing some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Power Week Evolved server. And there's a 1,000 times big Giga here. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. There's this 1,000 times big Buckle Waker. Make sure if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and show your support, peeps. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Actually, everything's fine, guys. Everything's perfectly fine. So, this is... Remember the costume we got for the Giga? We put it on, we couldn't see it. XB was showing me he was flying around here. He posted it on Twitter, and it looks like that. This is what the costume does. It's a little bit disproportional. I can't really move around. If I move around, it'll disappear. I'll show you. If I move around too much... Oh, there, it's like on me. Oh, it's still here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, there it goes. It disappears a little bit. So... That's the costume for the Giga. Anywho, so thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Got some stuff and things planned. I think it's time, finally. Where's his leg? We gotta find his leg so we can take the costume off. I think it's finally time that we actually get some base building done today. We have a couple of little things to do ahead of time here. Also, just wanted to show you some of the other costumes have changed. Um, the costume for Peanut Butternut, the, uh, the chief RG, is still super, super humongous. So that's, uh, that's not different, but um, the costume for the Mantis that we had on checkoff. Can I get off you? Is it all right? No? Not possible? Okay. Let's do a little hot land action, then we'll get off. So the costume for checkoff the Mantis is now super duper small, which I don't really understand what's going on there. But there was one thing that I wanted to check out today or start off with. You know our little buddy Tic Tac? Do we have Tic Tac on us? No, we forgot Tic Tac. Let me go ahead and teleport over to the base. I think we need to start pumping Tic Tac a little bit more. I want to see how high we can get him. So, uh, as far as levels go, now we've pumped his levels a little bit to start with. He's level 124 now. He's only got like 76,000 uh, uh, XPs. So, we're going to take all of these XP potions. And what are these guys? Hold on. We got tiny, small, another tiny, another tiny, and one huge. Let's go ahead and just use all of them. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just use all of them. I don't even know. We'll always get more. It's not like we need to stockpile these. We could just go ahead and build the max XP potion from Ark Comes Alive right there, but it takes a matrix core, which takes seven chief souls. So that's like quite a quite a big deal. So we're just going to use this. So then I just want to go ahead and I just want to pump HPs on him. He's still not even close to maxed out yet, I don't think. He's got a lot more XP. He's up to 2,500 XP zores. So he's doing pretty good. All right. So like I was saying, today we got to go ahead and get some hot building action done. Now, if you remember... uh, Wait, wait a second. You know what we got to do is go get mandible. So um, if you remember... We built the chemistry bench. We started getting all the stuff and things we needed to make huge, huge amounts of uh, clay, which we did. We did make huge amounts of clay, and we should be good to go with that. Now, I do believe I have some other stuff and things on him still, do I? I have a little bit of stone. I have some other stuff and things. We're going to go ahead and put him right here so we can access everything with the S plus benches. So, um, let me take a look down inside of here. What kind of hot clay action do we have? 75,000, I do believe. Oh, also, I got seven death worm horns from, I do believe, killing that um, the OMG. I think that's... Oh, we got another XP potion. We can squirt it on our guy. So we have a bunch more of uh, horns now. Let me see what we got. We have 10, and we needed some for something. I can't remember what it was. Unless the... It changed. Hmm. I can't remember if it's changed or what the deal was. But anyway, we got all sorts of that stuff and things going on here. I got a bunch more saddles and some other stuff. So like I was saying, we got to do some crafting up with the stuff and things. So in the S plus Smithy, let's go ahead and look at Adobe... That's the giant adobe trap door. We can do it right through here, right? So if we're just looking for S+, plus, we can probably filter just like that. S+, plus and then space AD. So we've got some... Oh, increased slope tolerance. Nail the ace to keep stuff. But what we're going to be trying to do is build um, a base kind of like floating. That's the plan. I want to build it underneath the bridge right there and have it kind of floating or, uh, in and about the area. Now, it's actually not as big of an area as I had hoped. When you take a look at it over here, it doesn't look like it's that big. Um, I mean, it's a good size. It's not bad. But I was really, I don't know, if it was like twice that big, I think it would be a little bit better. Twice as big, it would be better. So we have to do a little bit of testing with S Plus 2 because as far as like the floating base and mechanics and how that all works, I'm not really sure. I haven't built anything floaty with it yet. So I don't really know exactly how this is going to work out. So, uh, stage one is going to be clean up the inventory a bit. So, we got all sorts of extra garbo in here. We do have nine harvest crystals now, which is great for building all these um, chief matrixes and all that stuff. I got a bunch of saddles and some other crap. This is really why, and the main reason why we need to get a base, a, big, a bigger base going. I think I just squirted a bunch of saddles in here, and then I have no room for stuff and things. You know what? 
Let me see here. Do we even have any stone in there? So because we're going to build a new base, we might as well just drop some of the Scarbo that we've had collecting in our inventories for a while now. Uh, and then in here, can we drop all this stuff? No. 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 Crap. This primitive chief helmet is Garbo. We don't need that. And we can't drop that. So we're just going to throw the rest of the stuff inside of here as well. Like so, like so, like so, and like so. All right. So first order of business is going to be to craft up a huge amount of S plus stuff and things. It's going to take me a while to do it, so I'm going to do it off camera. And uh, once I get a bunch of building materials ready to rock and roll, I will be our bees peeps. And hey, we're back. All right, guys. So I built a couple of things real quick just to do a test here. So there's a couple of different uh, new types of pillars in uh, S+. Plus. So if we take a look here, you can see if we look for Adobe Pillar, you can see there's a small, medium, and large Adobe Pillars. Now, they have different uh, costs, of course. So this is like 120, 60, 30 for the medium, 200, 150 for the big. And then if you look, this is the large, man. It is humongously massive. It's a huge, massive stilt deal. But what we want to try to do here, what we want to see, my biggest theory or the biggest thing that I want to know about it, if it works and it still works, I've seen it done before, is if I'm not mistaken, we can pick this up. Yes! Yes! Oh, baby! Oh, this is so amazing. Now, does the pillar... Wait, what? Oh, we can just build out on it forever? Oh, floating base! Floating base! Yes! Whoa, no, we fell off. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. Oh, you guys, I can't even describe to you how amazing this is. Oh, I've always wanted to kind of do something a little bit out of the box. Um, and the building physics in Ark are very realistic. Like, you've really got to have that support from a pillar that's really, really close. And that really limits kind of what you can do because you've got to have so many pillars and foundations all over the place everywhere. So with this, I mean, it is a little bit different than the regular building system, but we're going to be able to build something really, really cool with it. And that just makes me excited, man. I can't wait to do this. I have, I don't know. I have a couple ideas of what we want to do, but really what we need are just like huge amounts of ceilings, some pillars, but massive, massive amounts of ceilings to get this up and running. So let's get Mandible out of the way here. And let me see, I've got a lot of resources. I already built a hundred ceilings in four of the large pillars. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna start to just put these guys, no, we don't need that. We're gonna go ahead and drop that stuff. We're gonna start sticking this stuff inside of here. Whoops, like a so. All right, so just a little bit of a test before I get all the stuff and things built. So now if we come and pop inside of here, do we have any more clay? There's only 15 in there. All right, so we'll hop up here. Go inside of there. How much clay can we carry? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can carry about 10,000 of it. We pop over here. We'll get some fiber, some thatch, and some hot wood action. I think I'm just going to use these large pillars. Actually, no. Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, I can pick them all up, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just build 50 of these guys, and then what are we even going to run out of there? Let me see. Can we do any ceilings at all? I can't tell what we're going to run out of. So probably wood or something like that. So let me see here. If we put some more fiber. Oh, those aren't even using fiber. Well, the, the, the ceilings use fiber. So we'll grab some more of that stuff. Another 10,000 there. And then we'll just grab all this wood. Hot wood action. Now, can we make ceilings? No. All right. So we have to do some more crafting. Like I was saying, originally doing some crafting. I had to stop to do some testing. Going to craft up a huge amount of stuff and things for real this time. That will be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and I've got a ton of stuff and things crafted up here. I'm just moving it all on to Mandible. I figured we'd just bring him down to the um, the area, and then... You know what's really weird, though? Hmm, I don't know. I was thinking about bringing my building materials down there, too, because all this Adobe stuff is just crafted inside my inventory. So I don't even really need to be in this area to do it. So, I don't know. We might do that. Um, and let me go ahead and just get some clay. We had to make some more. 700, that's 900. There we go. And then we should just be able to gather a bunch of resources when we're down there. So let me go ahead and show you all the stuff and things that we built. We've got 100 hatch frames, 100 rope ladders, 54 of these large pillars. I've got, what is that? 10, th wait, 1,000? 1,000 of the ceilings, five, six, seven hundred 700 walls. And uh, that's it. So just all that stuff. That's all I've got so far. As far as detail goes, like railings and those sorts of things, we'll get into building those once we actually get the framing of this thing done. Um, but yeah, that's what we got to figure out first. There's a lot of bad hombres down here. There's a freaking poison dodo rex in this area, man. We can't have this. Get out of here, homie. Are you dead? All right, good. What about you? Yeah, no, no, no alpha direwolves allowed. We're trying to do stuff and things here. 420, and I saw this guy. 
Oh, he isn't going to be a big deal. All right, so over here is where we want to go ahead and start building. So what am I going to do to start with? Wow, it is a bad area down here, man. There's so much bad stuff. How? What the frig? All right, let's just try to kill off a couple more things before we actually get off of our guy. I'm, like, super concerned that we're going to get our butts kicked. So what we're going to start off with is right in a, like, this early type area place. Let me get my... Whoa, whoa. Where's my gooey? My gooey be gone. Oh, that's weird. My gooey's gone and I can't... Ah! Ah! Peace out, homie. My gooey's gone and I can't bring it back. So I must have to log in and out. But for now, we'll just do this. So we want to place this guy right here. Then we'll rename this guy base and accept like a so. Now, if we teleport back to our base, we should be able to go ahead and get the mandible. I'm going to have to log in and out because it's going to be super hard to like understand what's in my hotbar. I didn't want to bring you with me. Oh, I wonder how many dinos we can bring with us at once. In the teleporter. So over here is where I have the teleporter. Can we just go like this and everybody will come? Oh, it worked. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. That's cool. All right. So over here is where we want to go ahead and start our building. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab a couple of these guys. And then we will come over here. Now what we've got to kind of do, this is going to be a little bit wacky. We've got to kind of eyeball lining this up like perfectly. So there's my water. I need a crosshair. All right, there we go. So, oh, we can't look perfectly straight up, can we? Crap. Because this isn't like straight up. When you look like that, is it? Is that straight up? It doesn't look straight up to me. What the crap is going on here, man? I think we need to be like right here. This looks pretty good. Because we want to basically be like right in the middle of this. So can we even zoom out a little bit and like kind of get an idea of where the edges of this land bridge are? Wow, it's super hard to see. There's not really a way for me to do it. I guess that is pretty much straight up. So right here is where we want to go ahead and build our pillar. We want to make sure we're pretty well lined up. And that should be good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab Glowpocalypse here. I want to take a fly around it and just make sure. Because this initial placement, you know, if you guys come from back in the days when we were building the Minecraft and stuff, you're like the initial start, like the placement of all the stuff and things that you do really can affect like everything that goes on from this point forward. So what we want to kind of try to do is just get an idea. Where the crap did that pillar go? Where is it even? There it is. Is it pretty much in the middle, do you think, guys? It's right there. It looks pretty good to me. So this is what we'll go with. And we can always edit it a little bit. But if you guys remember, there was a Minecraft build that I did that actually took me like over a year. It was called in my Surviving Sleptopia series. And I built this, this city and I built it for over a year. And it always bothered me that it was off by just the touch. And it was really hard to see. Obviously, it was a whole city. But it was so it was difficult to see. That's the best thing about building big is that it's hard to see your mistakes when you build really, really big. But it still was. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look how high I can place that. Can I place another one? No. But it's um really hard to. It's really easy to. um. Make a mistake in the beginning. Building bigger makes it a lot harder, which is good. So, all right. So, we're going to have to start off with building basically like just the scaffolding deal. So, thankfully, I can remember what my buttons are mostly. We'll go like so. We'll grab some of these and then we'll grab some of these. We'll actually kind of move these around a little bit. So, now if we go with the ceiling and then we go with that ceiling as high as we can go. Then we go the hatch frame and then we'll grab some rope ladders and then hopefully these work. All right, so now we're up here. So now we could take another ceiling, go as high out as we can go on that side, and then we will go like this. Oh, wait. Did I use a hatch? Wait, no. Okay, we got it. Oh, man, this is a little bit tough. We'll actually build out like a little 3x3 three three right here. There. Now we have a little bit of room to work. So now we can go with our hatch here, and then we can go with our ladder right here. And... That's actually backwards. So I'm going to climb up here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this ladder. Because I want it to be on the back side. Like so. I want stuff and things to be a little bit better. A little. No, it's not on the back side. Crap! I freaked up, man! That one's on the back side. We'll have to make a change to this one too. Wait, is this one even on the... Did that one just relocate? Did you guys see that? What the frick is happening? All right, we're going to go like that. And then I don't think I have a way to pick this ladder up. There's no way. We can pick that up. We can pick that up, and then we'll have just a regular extra ladder there. So, wait, what? Oh, I'm up. Crap! I always forget that. The S-plus ladders instantly squirt you to the top, which is, like, amazing. All right, so now we can squirt to the top of this, 
And then now we need a couple more pillars. Where do we put our pillars? Is that all the pillars that we had? What the frick is happening with my resource deals? We'll go ahead and grab a couple more of these. Stick those in our four slot. So the idea is basically that we're just going to go up and up and up. Uh, uh. And build a scaffolding so that this will be our base for our base, so to speak. So let me go ahead and just finish this guy right here. Now on this side, again, oh wait, we need a pillar. Can we go up there? Look at this thing, man. It's super big already. It's crazy. All right, like so, like so. All right, it's coming out. Stuff and things are happening. Go ahead and build out our three by three on this side. Our scaffolding is becoming a thing, peeps. And we're back with our scaffolding, which is quite large and also is scaffoldy. So is that a thing? I'm making it one. Let's make it a thing. Dot com. All right. So do you have a little cross here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, different levels to our scaffolding. Now, what I think we're going to do is... We're going to put down a teleporter over here. We're going to go ahead and rename it top, even though this is not the top. That's the bottom. And then we've got to climb to the top of our scaffolding to put another one. This way, we can just get up to the very tippity top or the very go to the top to the bottom, as, you know what I mean, so that we can get there super, super, duper fast. You know what would be sweet with these teleporters? If you could get multiple uh, like start points to go to a single destination. That would be super sweet. So let's go ahead and climb all the way to the top, all the way to the 11th floor-ish. Sometime we'll get there. All right, we're here. So, and then we'll place this right here, and we will rename, rename this bad boy top as well. Top. Top. Uh, like I so. All right, so now we can get all the way to the top or to the bottom. I wonder if we fall off the edge. Will we die? Let's find out. Oh, no. We only took about half health. That's crazy, man. Only went down to 325. I actually have heard tell, and I've never tested this, that, like, uh, fall damage after a certain point is capped, but I've never really tested it. We could test it sometime. It's also getting super, super bright out here. So, um, anyway, now we've got our deal. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is... I'm thinking of... I don't know. I'm thinking about going every other level. So, we would start to... Uh, maybe from the top at the second level, start to build out. And then kind of just see what happens. Because I have an idea in my mind of what I want. But it's a little bit wacky. I'm not exactly sure how this is all going to work out. So that's which is a little bit scary sometimes when you're doing building. Especially when you're supposed to be some sort of professional YouTubeologist. And you need to understand like everything needs to be good and all this. You need Sometimes people want things to be unbelievably amazing. And uh, I have no idea if it's going to turn out that way to be honest with you. We're, not, we're just Wait, we don't want to do that. We want to go to top. We're just going to have to see how this all works out. So... I, but the idea in my brain is epic. It's epic. That's always how it always works out when I ever, whenever I do building stuff and things. And my idea in my head is always unbelievable. But uh, what actually happens is a whole different story. So what I think we're going to do is build out here like this. There's three, four, five, six. And then let's do that on the other side here and just kind of see how it looks. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That scared me. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and build these out like this. So this is kind of the plan. What I'm thinking about doing is having like really long and probably wider than three wide. We'll make them a little bit bigger than that. Kind of like wings on the base. So the base will have these big wings. And then I think what we're going to do is maybe make the wings longer as we go down. So if we were to take there, that's six. If we were to go down, it's six six on that side and six on that side that I've lengthened it. If we were to go down two levels this way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we're out? Seriously? Did we already go through that many? Oh my god, that's fifty. Oh my god, guys. All those ceilings that I built are probably not gonna be anywhere near enough. So this one, I, we did, uh, what, six up there. This one's twice as long, 12. I might just go nine. Um, we'll have to see. But this is kind of the plan that I'm planning. So big, long wedges. Big, long, I don't know how to describe it, wings. And as we continue to kind of, like, build out, the wings will go out a little bit more. And then eventually, I think we'll have the wings also tuck back in. 
So it'll be a bit of a mirror. I think it's gonna look really cool, but I don't really know exactly how it's gonna look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so yeah, so that's the plan. So what I think I'm gonna do next for you guys is I'm gonna go ahead and build out all the wings, try to get the winginess of the base completed, and uh, then once that's done, I'll bring you guys back and show you the progress. Hey, we're back! Uh, almost done with some stuff and things. Let me go ahead and just grab my axe real quick. And we got to take this tree down. It's a little bit in the way. We can build around it, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, and then, do we have... Oh, we got wood up there. How's our weight? 700. All right, we should be all right. We'll just carry that stuff around. We'll squirt it on mandible here in a second. So, I'm almost done with my layers, with my wing deals that I have my, on my theoretical base idea that we've got here. And so, I want to just go ahead and finish up building... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this one is that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up building this guy. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two over, and then we're going to be good to go. Now, one of the things that I haven't tested yet, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared about, is suspension and how the suspension is going to work. So first, before I uh, take uh, do my test on the suspending the base, I just want to show you what my idea is here. So here's where you can see kind of what we have an idea for what the base is going to be like-ish. And uh, let me go ahead and gamma down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But you can see, like, there's wings on every other deal. That's kind of like what we're trying to go for here. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, like I said, we're going to widen them out a little bit. Um, but that's what we're basically going for here is that sort of a thing-ish. I have some other stuff and things that I want to add to it, of course. But this is the basic premise. So now, the theory is that we can remove this pillar and everything will be fine. Now, let's test it. I'm super scared. All right, let's go ahead and pick this pillar up. Oh, oh it did. It worked. It worked. There's nothing even there. That's so cool. Oh, can we do it to this one too? Oh, suck it, pillar. You're done. Ha ha ha, no pillar. No pillar necessary. No pillars needed. Let's go ahead and pick this one up. Oh, it's just getting better and better. Oh, I wonder I might need them. Now that I think about it, hmm, for some other stuff things. I don't want to get too excited. I want to get too ahead of myself here. Can I replace them? That's a good question. Is that even possible? Oh, probably not. Uh, I may have made a mistake. Well, I can't really tell if I made a mistake or not. Maybe if we come down here, then we can just place it, like, right there. Ish. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Is it, like, squirting up there? No, it's working out perfectly. Okay. Can we do another one right here that goes on the top of this? Is that working? Or is it... Yeah, so I think it might be working-ish. Do these meet? Do they match? No. So if we put another one up, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll all be fine in the end. It's not that big of a deal, but we tested the theory. The base will absolutely... Oh, great. I have no... You know how many times I have to log in and out of this game? Oh, my gosh. So, um, because I'm not showing health in the lower hand corner anymore. I couldn't learn Engrams earlier, and I had to, to, to log in and out for that, too. So, all right. That's the that's the theory. That's the stuff and things are coming together for sure. It's working out definitely uh, a little bit better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. But now, I think the next thing that I've got to do is just kind of, like, get a better idea of what's going to be here besides the, the flat parts. What other stuff and things that we're going to add to this? And we're back. And stuff and things have changed. I have decided to grow the base a little bit and add a perpendicular level. So, as you can see, in one direction, we have one, two, three, four, five levels. They are, what is that? Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, I can't even do all the math. But, okay, so out from the three by three, they are six, and then 12, and then 18, and then 12, and then six. Then there's now a perpendicular layer that goes the other direction. And those go 6, 9, 12, 9, and 6. So you can see it's not quite as even. It's not quite as fat in a this early direction as it is in a that early direction. So it's adding a little bit of randomality to do it all. I think I need to get some other stuff and things going here. I definitely want to probably widen all these guys out. So, but I'm running into a little bit of issues. I have some, I have some questions in my brain place about how this is all going to work out. Because I really don't know how it's all going to work out. Let's grab uh, 100 of those. Are we burdened now? No, okay, we should be good to go. I've also been having some trouble with these rope ladders. Okay, now they're working. So this bottom layer, this three by three, will go away, and all the pillars will glow, go away too eventually. But what I want, what I think I want to do, first thing I got to do is go ahead and widen these out, and I think I want to widen it out to five wide or whatever. So it's a total of five wide. 
So we'll go like this. And uh, so all the pillars will go away. And what I want to do is have everything kind of connected by a central tower. And a lot of stuff and things will just be open on the outside edges. Now, we have storms on Scorched Earth, of course, but I'm not going to let the storms kind of dictate how it is that I build my base. Um, especially considering, I'm assuming pretty soon, we will have a mod that will stop storms. Um, we actually did find that there is a console command to stop the storms. Um, and I think it's like, um, if you do the admin cheat and then you type stop CE underscore, and then it's like either superheat, sandstorm, something like that. I know the sandstorm one is sandstorm. So you can shut those off. So I'm assuming that pretty soon we might have a mod that will shut the storms off. And to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the storms. They were really cool to start with. Um, but I've said in the past, I think it's really silly that you can't overcome them. Um, that like the desert armor doesn't make it so that you can actually work during a sandstorm. Um, and I've never been a big fan of anything in the game that makes it so that you just like have to stop playing it. That doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, I don't want to have to stop playing a game for 10 minutes every 45 minutes. Um, it's kind of nice to take a break, I guess, to get you off the computer and get you, you can go take a breather or something like that. But um, still, I think that they're kind of silly. Um, and I think that uh, eventually we'll have a mod that will overcome them. So oh, I don't really have to worry too much about having the sandstorms and having some stuff and things outside on the edges. And then on the edges, we'll probably do, in some instances, that's where some of our machines will be. Some of our storage stuff and things will be out there as well. Man, this thing is really quite large, to be honest with you. And in extending these out is... Do I only have 12? Are we already down? Guys, I've already had to go back to base and build more ceilings um, one time and build a huge amount more again. So this is quite a thing. It's going to be quite a deal. Um, let me see here. I can only carry around 100 or 150 at once. And actually, let's go ahead and can we craft up some more with the garbo we have in here? No, we can't. We don't have enough thatch. Let's go ahead and drop this. Just no. Wait, what? My whip. Give it back to me, the whip. Where are you? Whip. Nail the escape. Stop. All right. So let me go ahead and just drop this garbo right here. We have 102. Our weight is 500. We should be able to fit near to another 100 ceilings on. But you can see we're running low. All right, so anyways, like I was saying, I got to extend these all out to five wide. Uh, and um, after that, I'm really not sure. I want, I think uh, about the central tower, I might do like a, some sort of a corkscrew design, which I think will be pretty cool. Uh, is this thing five wide? One, two, three, four, five. So this guy's already done. So now we're going to do this one up here. So working on getting these to be five wide is the next stage. And uh, then after that, we have to work on the central column deal. But uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this up and I will be our beast peeps. And we're just putting the finishing touches on here. Stuff and things are getting a little bit laggy. It's when I like push the, uh, when I get the little green outline, the whole area kind of gets a little bit laggy right now. So I think that, I don't know, we might be overdoing it a little bit, but nothing's good. Nothing worth, worth doing unless you it's worth overdoing. There's, if you're going to make lemonade, you got to... Uh, do stuff and break eggs. Yeah, that's what I said the other day. All right. There we are. All right, so we're down. Uh, where's the gold apocalypse? Oh, you guys, this thing is coming along. This thing has turned out to be epic, man. Oh, baby. All right, it's cool. I'm down. I'm totally digging this. Let me go ahead and have a little bit of a fly out. I think widening those out definitely made a little bit of a difference and making it look a little bit more B.A., so all of our dino storage can be up top here. We can put a teleporter from up here to come down. And then down inside of here, we can kind of work on... I don't even know how we're going to do it. I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know if I want to do a central tower or if I want to close it all in. I'm thinking I could close it all in with ramps, but I think that that would be a lot of building materials that would cause a lot of lag. I actually don't care that much about doing the work. It's just uh, making the base super laggy. So I think that's my, why we might just do the central tower thing. But... There is one thing that I realized, and that is that I can't believe it, but the episode's already over, guys. It's been a long day. Ugh. Oh, we're completely locked up. It's been a long day's building stuff and things, and that's going to be it for today, peeps. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.